One of the great things about Emacs is that it allows you to customize it to fit your specific workflow. For instance, I've found I like to have two side-by-side -side windows, each about 80 columns wide, and for the Emacs frame to take up the whole height of the display. And that's exactly what I've got inside this Reset UI function. It supports a number of different display sizes, and I have bound that to Control C U. Another feature of my workflow is that I tend to keep a full screen iTerm running behind Emacs. And so one thing I'm experimenting with is bringing this inside Emacs. I'd like to be able to hit you know, one key binding and bring up a full screen E shell buffer. Uh, and then with that same key binding, make the buffer go away and go back to where I was in Emacs. So I've defined two keyboard macros to do exactly that. And I also have a function here which runs each macro appropriately depending on whether the visor is showing or not. Looking at my key bindings, I've bound that to control C T. So when I need a shell, now I can just hit control C T and it's here. And then when I'm done running whatever commands I need to run, I can hit control C T again and I'm back exactly where I was. So this should help me be a little bit more efficient and Emacs makes it easy to do this kind of thing.